ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर नेक्स्ट क्रेडिट इट इज द ब्रायोफाइट इकोलॉजी सो हियर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग द डिफरेंट हैबिटेट्स ऑफ द दिस ब्रायोफाइटिक कंडीशन आर देयर एंड फिजियोलॉजी मीन्स रिलेटेड विद दैट ऑफ द वेजिटेटिव ग्रोथ एंड द रिप्रोडक्टिव ग्रोथ ऑफ द ब्रायोफाइट्स आर देयर so just uh, we will see the some highlighting points in relation to these uh, uh, characters or this eco physiology here in the photographs as the habitats are generally seen as we are knowing in the rainy season particularly with reference to our indian continent is there or region so we have in the different condition uh, habitats are there or the distribution of bryophytes is there in bryophyta already we are knowing as as it is a embryophyte or it develop the embryo particularly in the liverworts mosses and hornworts are there so as they shows there is having the thallus uh, range or the habit it is from 2 to 6 cm and therefore ma'am uh, different these conditions either it is more or less but they have the certain limitation of the growth but it shows the development uh, in the sense of this particularly the reproductive structures are there uh, in reproductive structures there is also too much variation the reproductive organs as generally develops in the specific condition or very short uh, duration of life cycle is there as hardly 2 to 3 months uh, life cycle and it will be kept generally as per the humidity uh, in the nature humidity means uh, it is not all over world it is the same but it is changing as per the uh, this region to region when there are the different ecosystems are there already we have discussed the microclimatic conditions are there so you are observing here some uh, these mosses or some near the the liverworts are there they are found in on the bark or tree trunks or the branches are there so how the physiological changes takes place physiology that is related with that of the photosynthesis then uh, there is the uh, reproduct uh, reproduction is there and there is a formation by again the spore germination is there or completion of the life cycle is there so it is very interesting part is there so you see uh, these are called as uh, trumps uh, trump t r t r u m p s that is the the buttresses region the basal part of the larger trees are there you are observing here so they also shows the specific type of the bryophytic uh, developments are there as uh, we are already knowing in bryophyta the true roots are absent but the rhizoids are present and true vascular tissue is also absent but the cortex and the other tissues they functions very nicely or very uh, generally having the uh, developed uh, like conditions are there the occurrence generally seen at the different regions as on the damp or the shady places on secondly they shows the uh, life cycle pattern it is heterologous and the haplo diplo biotic actually this word is from the algae but already we are knowing in evolution the from the algae bryophyta are to be supposed as the develop so haplo means the haploid stage is there and heterologous that is the Uh, logos is the uh, haploid uh, containing and thirdly archegonia and the diploid that is the zygote formation is there embryo formation in the bryophyta is there so very interesting part is there the this uh, gametophytic stage that is uh, which is the how we say the gametophyte because the the development of anthidia and archegonia it is the gametophyte and secondly there is having the specifically this sexual organs they are of having different shape size and the structure is there so it is called as oogamous type right so you have to consider this the after fertilization it shows the development of this food seeta 
and the capsule is there so just i am repeating what is the change is there so just we have to go uh, one by one characters are there again you are observing your good photograph of the, some forms in the uh, this one so see the dehyced capsule showing four holes are there in the some genera or mosses are there or in uh, some uh, thyroid members are there we are knowing about the marcantia it shows the disc shaped uh, structure is there so just uh, go through it okay how is the uh, how are the physiological changes are there there are the certain uh, development of uh, organs are there you see you are observing the capsule or the gametophytic stage after anthrid archegonia develop in the thyroid or the mosses members are there phimeria phalo polytricum are there on the right hand side you are observing the structure of the this anthridium then uh, generally it is seen in the leafy jungle manures this is a structure of uh, anthridium it shows the sperms are there very minute uh, sperms so these are the actual photographs of this uh, then you are observing here the archegonia is there so archegonia with the neck canal cells egg cell and the ventral cell so these are generally having the exogenous that is developing from the external cell of the this anthridial initial or the archegonial initial cell very interesting part in relation to habit habitats we are knowing terrestrial um, habitat is generally there some few very few are there the aquatic ones for example sphagnum it, uh, it is to be uh, reported as a aquatic aquatic not that is totally in the water but the maximum water is present suppose any pond is there fresh water pond without any pollution so the sphagnum moss generally occurs there we are also observing we have seen also the uh, bryles uh, in this one or sphagnels having the separate position the specifically these terrestrial forms they having the amphibious type of the habitat is there amphibious that is partly in water partly on the soil region are there so it is amphibious in relation to reproduction already we are knowing by uh, vegetative method and the, by the sexual method so we are knowing the tubers then gemma cups developing gemi or uh, there is the formation of these uh, gemi they show the specifically in different forms are there suppose the uh, in uh, marcantia or linularia these are different they are having the rhizoidal cell and developing the new thallus formation is there in the some uh, cases they are in the groups at the top of this one then in the vegetative reproduction we are knowing the extra adventitious birds are there or uh, in the gametophore or there are the adventitious branches are there so physiologically as there is a support of the food material and the certain environmental conditions are there so this uh, type of the condition uh, we are observing then we uh, give the highlight to the life cycle pattern so heterologous or the heterogamous generally so gametophytes uh, generally develop the anthridium archegonium male and female anthridium develop anthrozoites archegonium develop egg fertilization zygote which is deployed after germination it gives the sporophyte to n or there is the formation of the capsule formation capsule uh, in capsule spore mother cells are deployed meiotic division takes place and the haploid spores which germinate and develop the protonema protonema is the stage we have the first uh, juvenile stage it is called as a juvenile that is the first one stage without any gametangia or the reproductive structures so therefore it is called as the protonema and later on it uh, developed to this one then uh, so in diagrammatic representation already we are knowing already in primary classification while we are focusing so brown is the one authority in 1864 so firstly included under the algae fungi lichens and the mosses 
but later on already in last semester we have seen detailed classification but just i am repeating how the variation so you have to write think over about the as per the classification so divided into hepatic e, uh, then uh, anthocerotic and maasai so these are the primary classifications and uh, in this hepatic e, marken shells then leafy jungle manuals are there anthocerotic is here the separate maasai mainly spagnels and rails and the brails are there different authors like the brown so they have to be the words and mosses then on one hand algae and fungi and the lichens are there recently we are knowing this classification is generally we are following hepatic e and tocerot and the masai so go through the certain these diagrams are there markensia rixia then anthocerus then uh, there are the, these are the uh, photographs this right hand uh, photograph is of anthocerus then there are the masai or the markensia is there some orders uh, just i am highlighting here so because each and every thallus or the character uh, there in the specific habitats as per their they are developing the physiological changes so hepatic e, uh, already we have seen takakeals calogrials jungle manuals medgerials marcasians and spirocarpels so these uh, in seventh one monoclades i am just highlighting you have to remember these seven groups in your uh, writing so names are having the weightage anthocerotopsida or hornwoods anthocerotales family 1 anthocerotaceae and genus mainly anthocerus and notothallus are now main and others are megacerus dendrocerus pheocerus foliocerus like this one in bryopsida the uh, divided into spagnidae spagnum andrials andrea and andrea books about meals bryidae and in bryidae is the largest moss class so generally it shows the many order orders are there fissidae cells dicranials because they having the specific changes are there very interesting changes here at the capsule sporophyte level as per the icbn nowadays we are following this classification according to taktajar shuster 1953 Tukta Jar 1953, Parihar, our Indian scientist, and S. Parihar 1965, and the Udar in 1976. So just to go through it, it is generally same uh, for hepatic e, uh, then anthocerotales, uh, and the bryopsida. Right. So just uh, we are highlighting. Then secondly, in this relation, the different genera or as per the difference. Uh, orders are there so hepatic e shows 330 genera 8000 species and to ceratopsida seven genera and one single order bryopsida 700 genera 14000 species are there so as per changes there are the changes in gametophyte and the sporophyte right uh, secondly uh, we are observe, we are knowing so thalle structure these are also different dorsal view and the ventral view is there so presence of uh, rhizoids then in leafy jungle man is presence of third leaf ampigastria or the under leaf is there leafy jungle man is then there are the uh, some marcensians like well advanced thallus so yeah, they shows the archegonia for an anthridium for in uh, this uh, rixiocarpa genus it have in the specific character and uh, in uh, anthocerus uh, generally anthocerotic the dehiscence of uh, capsule is there it is into the two holes due to the presence of collimella so ls of uh, so capsule we are knowing uh, the these three groups having very beautiful structures are there you are you are observing there are the astrella or the this left hand side liver what uh, hepatic phyta astrella plagio caspar there secondly this red color is the uh, sphagnum moss then uh, marcensia polymorpha it shows the uh, archegonia four then anthocerus then polytrichum is there then secondly there is a funaria 
just see how is the nature then uh, capsule shows the covered by the calyptra then each uh, sporogonium it shows the food seed and the capsule is there as per the ecological importance of bryophytes here just you see some sites or the locations are there where abundant uh, these occurrence of the bryophytes are there so as uh, regions are there uh, different habitats so generally the gametophytic stage is to be supposed as a dominant and there is having the more prominent long lived and the, it, it is a haploid stage secondly traditionally we are knowing these all land plants they have not true vascular tissue but therefore uh, they can survive for a longer time secondly you are observing these uh, some adaptive natures are there and the mosses capsules they hold the dew drops or the due to humidity and this sporogonium generally it has the character after the sunlight or the light intensity increases the dehiscence of the capsule takes place here we are knowing in polytricum and this some genera so there are the peristomal teeth are there so there is having the uh, shotgun mechanism so dehiscence of operculum cap of the capsule it is dehiscing and therefore spores exit into the environment and they show the germination uh, in the specific uh, specialized structures are there so uh, as they are the absent but here we are knowing uh, the specifically by the osmosis and the diffusion the surface moisture it is generally kept the alive and after the specific light intensity temperature increases and the natural uh, this capsule dehiscence takes place so humidity is the main uh, here i have selected uh, this uh, um, slide as you are observing here there are the a piece of the certain gametophyte is there and it shows the grow into a new gametophyte by having the certain uh, accidental uh, conditions are there so uh, due to the trampling by the suppose animals are there or other parts natural uh, calamities are there but still they are showing the development here you are observing the good example of the this uh, books baumia uh, genera it shows the very interesting capsule is there uh, then neum is there m n i u m archegonian head so many archegonia they are uh, developing at the apex of this one and therefore mosses patches we are observing they germinate in the next season and they uh, they are to be uh, redeveloped here you are observing in the this moss the anthridium is there just you see how the they are developing so as these are the smaller plants are there but maximum advanced characters are there you see the group of anthridia developing here so the physiological conditions totally depend on the certain location soil rocks or uh, there is having the humidity is there and generally any uh, ecological conditions already you are knowing the siri zero siri hydro siri meso siri zero siri that is developing on the rock so firstly these plants are developing uh, algae then uh, there are the certain uh, moss mosses are there or certain that one the, the grasses then small shrub herb shrubs are there trees are there like this one so this development so this is a good uh, photograph showing the uh, habitat uh, is there and the patches while we are observing in the rainy season or uh, generally so immediately they uh, develop the structure and it is nothing but it is a part of the succession so how pioneer stage first stage they are commonly therefore called as the algae or the mosses are called as the pioneers developing on in the field uh, this is a good photograph of the moss neum is there so this neum uh, as it shows the these blackish capsules are there 
so they develop then this second photograph you are observing a red yellow color polytrichum capsules are there right then omarkensia gimacopi is there so on these conditions there are the certain physiological changes so we will see the one by one but just uh, you should know okay, how the bryophytes are classified and what are the main their characters so next lecture we will also take uh, the same topic okay thanks to all